Thank you so much, Dr. Cosmos Maduka, for joining us on this conversation on business insights with Irene. Now, um, we understand that it's for a business, it goes beyond just accessing finance for it. Neither, and based on your projection, at the end of the day, it's not just you who will be running the business, depending on how large you want the business to be, meaning you really need a formidable team. So how exactly can you start to build a formidable team? particularly gaining the trust and loyalty of your staff? Well, um, a lot of people do not understand how important it is. But if you are going to grow your business to a large scale and really make impact in the society or environment, you need a formidable team. Mm. A business is not about the structure, the building, uh, and the, mm. the frames that hold them together. It's about the people, focusing on your people and making believers out of them. Forging a team in organization is probably the most simple but very difficult thing to achieve. It can be very deceptive. Mm. You think, oh, by just hiring people from all walks of life, you have a team. <laughs> you mm -hmm. need to get them to believe in a cause. You need to get them to believe in a cause. That's why sometimes they said this club does not play like a team. Mm. They are play as individual. So nobody drive energy from the strength of the other. But you need to bring all of those things to harmonize to a position of harmony and you will see a result that is overwhelming. So is the most challenging thing for the managing director or the management mm. to successfully share their vision and get the team to work in accord. Mm -hmm. Getting in alignment with one single mind and purpose. That's how you see things happen in organization. That's for me is um, a key. It's all start from the leaders, you know, mm. actually the board set the tone. The harmony that flows from the board to the management that comes down to the manual management to the last person in the organization, they need to operate with one focus, one mind and one purpose that geared towards result-oriented. Therefore, the managing director or the, the owners of the business must share their vision with mm. every single one of the staff and get their buy-in. How, how do you get your staff buy-in? Yeah. I think it, that's one of the toughest things that quite that's a number what, of that's, people... That's, that's why I'm saying mm. that is, is, is the most difficult things to do because, you know... You have people who comes into a place with different ideology. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that um, it must be very clear from the top. And that um, um, I, I don't completely agree, but you see some young people going to school and say it's not by force to serve Nigeria. Nobody forced you to walk into an a company. If you really cannot share and buy in into the vision of the company, the earlier you leave, the better because you can get somebody who is there who is just there to damage mm. the whole thing everybody is doing so um and 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 that is why in a job opportunity there is always opportunity for people to come in and if you are not a team player in any organization regrettably you will not last there because if they if they want to get a result they must get everybody to play by team you even in a soccer game you have seen many coach, you know, bench 
prayers. Because if they don't operate as a team, if you cannot support other people, okay, in, 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 in working like that, if we don't care who gets the credit in organization, you will be amazed the result that will be achieved. But when people start, you know, try to shovel one another to show I am the ranger, I am the man who makes all the thing happen, then you abuse other people mentally and otherwise. There is people are competing among themselves instead of complementing themselves. You never find uh, the desired result achieved in that in that in that kind of organization. And how do you help? You know, keep your staff motivated. And this is, you know, this is something that is so real in different spheres of life. So. So real in different organizations. You get your staff motivated in, in many ways, okay? Um, many people thought it's all about money. Um, of course, in Nigeria, many people put money ahead of every other thing, which is really wrong. But relationship, managing human beings is a complex situation because if you... Because there are many things that affect people's feeling. Of course. Okay. Um, your health can affect your feeling. Your family uh, well-being can affect your, your, your feeling. Your wife, your spouse, health situation can affect your feeling. So you see people coming from different places. You didn't know what they went through. If it's a lady that's been abused all night with her husband... She's not going to come to the work tomorrow, be the most motivated staff, mm -hmm. half of their mind. So the need for different level in management always look out for their employees. You know, sometimes you need to ask, is everything okay? You know, no, no, everything is okay because, you know, we like to ask, no, no, I don't think everything is okay. You are not the He understood so I count. That means mm -hmm. I am important. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's not all about money. If it's a machine, you service that machine, grease it, he will continue to produce constantly. But there are things that affect people's feeling. Human beings are not a robot. So managing their feeling is a key. It will get to a point that you know there are people who have problem that their mood change even with weather. If it's too hot, they are cold. If it's uh, moody, you know, because that becomes a distraction. Mm. But you will know some of your staff that act a little unusual to what they are used to. Please get into feeling and find out what their problem is all about. It makes a whole lot difference when the people know you cares for them and that their welfare and feeling mm. counts and is important to you. Uh, that's where you get staffs. That's where Jesus was able to train his people until they were willing to give their life to be able to, for the cause that they believe in. Until you get to that position with your staffs. So I believe management by feeling. There are people who do not believe in it. There are people who That's believe, emotional intelligence. Yes, management by mm -hmm. science, you know, the American way. If there is light here, if we turn on this switch, it should come on. If it doesn't come on, that means there's no power in the current. You get the result by both of them. But the one that is most sustainable is management by feeling, where you get people really totally sold out to the company. I have number of employees like who have like the Japanese mm -hmm. who have worked for me for 30 something years 40 years some of their children are now becoming one or two are becoming member of the culture so I learned this from Japanese where people get married to their institution you can't entice them with pay to leave an organization they believed in so they Get into a company, they think this is our family. Totally sold out. These are people who get result in the company. And it all, it doesn't come only from the people's 
feeling, it comes from the management treatment to those people that makes them have that level of commitment that this is part of their family and they work there till the end of their life. You know, their children join, their great-grandchildren join, and uh, you see, you make a, a, a formidable team. And what do you, what do you make of, um, you know, leaders that may not be so good at emotional intelligence? Um, they don't get people who believe in them so much. You know, they, um, uh, anybody can follow you when that you put a gun in his head that wants his life. But to really know how well you are lead, you are you are a leader. It's when people have opportunity to follow other people, and against that incentive, they decide to follow you. You are a leader. You have really made a believer out of them. And before then, it's about it's not how much you cajole people and you know manipulate them to listen to you and follow you. But when they have an opportunity to go elsewhere, they still believe in your cause, then you have been able to make a, a leader out of the people. Because mm -hmm. there are you are you have you there are people who you have inspired to greatness of their life and they believe with your leadership over their life they will accomplish everything they set out to do. These are mm -hmm. my loyalists in my organization, people that have gotten to stay in that way you know people entice them with pay they can come back to you and say that man want me to live and this is what he want to pay oh, me. they will report they, they report it they will report it to you they report it to you mm. and they are not just reporting it for you to do i've had people that tell me that um you know they want they, they this this is where they belong and uh, even even i don't pay them salary that they are ready to work for me and they are not saying it to make me happy but they have found me to be a leader that I touch their life the way they believe in the cause that I believe in. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, that's part of the magic that makes a successful organization. And also giving opportunity for your staff to grow in an organization. Of course, the, that's part of it, you know. Um, a lot of people are, um, um, it, it's not in the most professional way, but basic traders, people from my area, will always remind you who you are when they, they met you. Oh, you used to clean gutter. You know, I just taught you now how to uh, clean a uh, floor and you are making a younger. No, if you get somebody that used to clean gutter and they learn how to clean the floor, please change the status because if you don't, some other person will take we'll him. He's not cleaning gutter anymore. He will go and clean the floor for the person and they will get the reward of somebody cleaning it. So you must continue to invest in your people, both training them and, up and, and adequately rewarding them. These two things have to go together. Nobody wants to stay static in life. No common sense person wants to be static. In fact, if people don't get promotion on the job after five years, seven years, and they remain, it's because they are no good and they have no other place to go. Mm. We'll take a quick break now and we'll come back right after that.